Um, so Cletus says, given that the stove body is essentially a bell, any disadvantages to having the wall thickness be thicker, say up to eight inches, wondering about using stone versus bricks with the clay sand mortar? No, Cletus, that's a, that's a fabulous question and it's a fabulous way to go. Um, the more, the merrier, you know, basically what you're adding, you're doing is you're adding to your thermal storage by having thicker walls. You will have slower response time. In other words, it will take you longer to heat up the body of the stove, so you will burn for longer. But conversely, you will get longer heating cycle after the fire goes out. So I really, you know, I find that these bricks, the way that I'm laying them, are a really nice, happy medium. But some folks will find that in uh, areas where maybe they really are going to prioritize burning all day and not burning at night at all and wanting that stove to still be really warm in the morning, thicker walls might be a great way to, to get you longer burn cycle through the night. Um, and so, yeah, it you absolutely can can adjust those things. And it's impossible for me to give you any figures on it, every material, every stone is going to be dramatically different. Soapstone will behave vastly different than flagstone or granite. Um, so it's a really good idea to just, I think, just build it and just play with it and tune it. And, uh, and if it doesn't work out, you tear the top half down and do it again with bricks or whatever. So um, I think it's a great way to go. I'd love to see it. Um, rocks are very, very cool. So. Uh,